we're going to check uh, range of motion actually on the launch pad today. How we're going to do so is twofold so we can get some good data. We're going to measure distance from the elbow to the floor with a good old tape measure. And then we have a velocity device on there as well. We tested some velocity stuff yesterday. Today, the goal of the velocity device is to also read a range of motion in millimeters. So we're going to have that device. We're going to convert that on a phone and we're going to have a good old tape measure as well. Give us two good pieces of data to show the increased range of motion that you're going to go through with the launch pad on a straight bar. We're then going to go a step further and throw the duffalo bar in there and see if we get even more range of motion through the bench press. Let's do it. I'm just trying to do my, my best to be really consistent set up. Alright, give me a second. Okay. I don't get one more rep. Tape major. longest pause after yesterday. <laughs> That's it, sore. So, 318 millimeters. Let me get that shot real quick. And 328. Do the conversions. Nice. We're gonna do the conversion. So it's 328. Yeah. You said? Says 12.9. Sweet. 12.9 12 12 measurement on my uh, elbow to the floor. Is, I, I believe it's right around 17. 16. 16, 17. Cool. All right, you're up. Same thing, just try to be as consistent as possible, hand placement, all that good shit. Consistent setup. I usually put my uh, pinkies right around where the outer ring is right there. Cool. So it's pretty easy. Mm. Got focused in. Okay, good. Yes, one more rep. Fifteen and a half. And you're three thirty one and three fifteen. Let's take the bigger one for both of us. So three thirty one. Alright, so I'm gonna do a conversion real quick, Mine. Give me a second. Three thirty one. It's just thirteen point zero three inches. Alright, let me give one more shot. Right. Some call it just bench like this, right? You get a bench, let's get all the way yeah, up. That's it. why I actually made it five feet. Some of them got the long, deep undercarriage. All right, let's see what we get. I Cool. Are you measuring? He's right. Turn up. Why? Well, yeah, turn the tape measure towards me. Okay. It's right about 18. Yeah, now we're at 18. Good. Slightly over, maybe 18 and a fourth. Yeah, a little over 18. He's about the same. Yep. Let me shoot from this side. 364. 399. We'll take the bigger ones. 399. 399. Okay. Let me get this shot. 399. Give me a second. I'm going to change the ISO for the screen. 
Cool. Got it. Fifteen point seven one round. So it's almost sixteen inches. And I was what was that before? Three thirty one, I think was my other number. Three thirty one, I think it was thirteen ish. Yeah, thirteen versus fifteen point seven. So it was two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. It's fucking crazy, man. That's like, that's that's in depth. Like it still blows, like it still blows my mind a little, because the bar, my arm is only so long, and the bar goes from point A to point B. Right. Duffalo, I have to go deeper to get range of motion because it's curved. Right. Like I understand what the shoulder is doing, but it's mind blowing that there's that much difference. Yeah. Think about that and what it's from a performance aspect too. You're working at that deeper range. So if you're a power lifter, you already got that extra strength built from the hole. It's so much easier to explode up with heavier weight. Most throw definitely. So let's get you in here. All right, so on you now. Yeah, that's nuts. I I tried the measurement pr prior, uh, you know, with with my pops. We we're just because we were curious. Yeah. And we were doing just the elbow placement, but we weren't as exact. And I was saying it's about two to three inches. It's been consistent. It's crazy. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, so nice. Three seven seven. Yeah, we'll get our best one. Three seventy seven. Fourteen point eight. All right, I'm gonna show The only thing that's gonna be off, thinking about it, because before you were like sixteen, that was eighteen on your elbow. Mm -hmm. But you need to subtract what this is off that inches. number, right? Or put the other launch pad down on the floor because you're on a launch pad and you're on a launch pad. Cool. So now we have Duffalo bar on here, but just to highlight one thing we didn't take into account because it's measured differently, right? The velocity device is going to measure full range of motion from start of a position to stop of a position, or from here, I should say, start to stop of a position. When we looked at the range of motion through the elbow, it showed different data. We were like, well, we know it's deeper because this says so. We forgot to take into the account, and you'll feel it when you unrack, this is actually actually sticking us up. Again, we measured it three inches taller. So we've got to subtract that off any elbow measurements we do. And again, we'll verify then, larger range of motion, larger range of motion. All that geeky, sciencey stuff aside, put this in combination of this, you're going to get extra deep range of motion. So let's yeah, check it out. Check it out and see how it feels. Okay. I'm ready for you. He's gonna mess his elbow again, right? I'm ready. Come down. Right. About 17. Up. Just up, just above 17. So maybe 17 and a quarter. Okay. Let me get one more. One more measure. About the same. Yeah, yeah about the same. Quarter. That's that is the that's deepest stretch I've ever felt on my chest. I, I feel amazing. You really can't. Uh, let me get it. Again, velocity won't lie for us. All the way up to a 433. Jesus. 433. Again, we're going off biggest numbers. Comparing big and my smallest was 13. Yeah. With just a straight bar. Yeah. Four inch increased range of motion. That's an additional two. On, I, you, you're at the 15 four. So again, we talked yesterday, you know, we got block deadlifts, steps to deadlifts. A lot of people don't squat ass to grass on purpose because they don't always have the mobility to do so safely on the spine. Deadlifts is a good one though. A lot of people go to extreme on deadlifts. We don't have a way to get extra super deep. Maybe dumbbells, Cadillac bar, duffalo bar for sure. Combine that launch pad. Big range of motion. Yeah, huge difference. See if you're you can touch talking your almost five inches. See if you can touch your chest here. It's <laughs> <laughs> down there. Good. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can feel that stretch. Good. 17 and a half. In a good range motion. 17 and a half. Four. Yeah, you can dish that's, so there's your best example consistency, 391, 391. Those are, I mean, millimeter exact. That was a 391? Yep. So, there you go, Marlon. Hold on, I had to change the frequency on this so I could get it. So 391. Give me a second. No weight. Hey, baby. Huh? No weight. 15.39. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Crazy. <laughs> nuts, man. I mean, the proof is in the numbers. Yeah. <laughs>